Hey everybody, welcome back to some more uh, Crusader Kings 2. So, when we last left off, we'd had our War of Independence. We are now independent, and people have been asking in the YouTube comments, like, what is our next step? Are we still going after Egypt as our next step? Or do we want to start making the Kingdom of Arabia, which would require, uh, should be some of this land. Uh, Kingdom of Arabia, here we go. Everything highlighted here is Kingdom of Arabia, so as you can see, we own a lot of the land here for it. And, uh, we need to grab a lot of this, but that's from the Abbasid, and they've been getting even more powerful, I don't know if you've noticed. So, uh, yeah, they're at 20,000 troops, I'm at 5,000 almost. I'm still thinking, like, uh, Egypt here is a better choice. Now, mind you, they also own a lot of North Africa in general, but I think they're a better choice of who to, who to go after. They're only a little bit stronger than me. They have way less decadence, though. I need to get my decadence down. We had a decadent family member that didn't do us any favors. And, uh... uh yeah, we need to take this. This is what we've been plotting on. This duchy here, we have our counselor still trying to make a claim on this duchy for us. Because it would get us a good amount of decent land. Um, I want to take it before the Abbasid go, snatching that up. So right now, it's take a bunch of weaker things around us, try and get as much power as we can. You know, usual thing. So, let's run the clock. And we're also getting a little bit old. In fact, let's pause again. Uh, we are 52 and our heir is 25. Designated Regent, Cupbearer, Commander, okay. Just making sure that we're okay. And we do have Camp Fever, so we could just drop dead. It's possible. I hope not, because we are a great leader. Look at this brawny, brilliant strategist, brave, wrath, charitable, shy, shy sucks, humble, camp fever. Camp fever sucks just a little bit, believe it or not. We already threw all the decadent people in the, in the pit, but they already, you know, did some damage. I know there's a huge bear somewhere near the woods. Oh god, didn't we fight a bear before? Something like that. You know what, we're brawny and an old man. Enough with your nagging, you can come along. All right, uh, yeah, I'll let him join us on the bear hunt. If he dies, he dies. He's my marshal. Oh, I can just pick the brave, but I saved him thing again that we had last stream. Well, I mean, that's, that's very much the obvious choice, uh, considering the other one is just bad. I guess it's for if I wanted to get rid of my marshal, but he's pretty good and he likes me, so I'd rather he just like me more. Are we still putting down... Yeah, we're still suppressing revolts here. Because of high taxes. That won't end till September. September 22nd, actually. That's my birthday. But I wasn't born in uh, 830 AD, believe it or not. Presently... Ugh, oh, it's the fucking Sheikdom again. There's a chance that he could get a claim on the Emirate. I want the Emirate. But he says he managed to fabricate a claim on the Sheikdom. And the individual sheikdom I don't really have that much interest in. It's actually surprisingly wealthy. The problem is, if I were to do that and have the war over it, I'd win, but I would have a 10-year peace deal with them. Whereas, let's say I said no to this, maybe in two years I'd have a claim on the entire emirate. And then I could have the entire emirate much sooner. So, let it go. Not gonna go for it. Oh, they're having their own revolt, are they? Uh, and I can't declare on the revolt because uh, they're not bordering me. Great. Damn. Counties of non-Islamic regions will pay 15% more in tax if they're owned by Muslim ruler, says Trolls the Second. That is correct, yeah. Historically accurate. Traveler from the east reaches your court along with his personal bodyguard. Reading from a scroll, he states that the great the great emperor of China demands tribute of a thousand heavenly horses. That's a lot of fucking money. That's a lot of money, but we do have a lot of money. It's 200 grace. Is that worth it to me? What do we need? We need 2,000 for a trade contract. Trade contract could be pretty good. The Iron Sheikdom, says Ash. 
Ah, oh, that's what I wish I could call it. 5,000 to request an invasion. Mmm, that's not happening. Recently sent a eunuch, yeah. I'm gonna say no, sorry. I might lose grace for that, I'm not sure. But, uh... Right now we're really trying to build up our military. As you can see, we're building walls in a lot of places, so we gotta save up money, because when those, once those walls are built... Oh, uh, is this tech? Yeah. Once the walls are built, we're gonna be able to make a lot of new barracks and whatnot. I really want, uh, economic, uh, advances. Fuck yes, that's what we got, and our castle infrastructure's up anyway. Okay, because I just wanted to top off castle, castle infrastructure, but it looks like it finished anyway. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that then. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm happy with my tech right now. It's not bad. Could be bad for trade. Oh, God damn it. Insolence will not go un unnoticed. Okay, so our trade value in our trade rate goes down a bit and we lose 500 grace. That really sucks. That hurts. Because we're making a lot of money out of this trade post. Actually, you know what's a good priority for us? We do want more trade practices. Normally, I wouldn't really care about it that much. But trade practices, I believe, is what gets us the next things here, right? Yeah, level 2 or higher would get us the next level of upgrades. And those would be pretty good. David Corporal says maybe just spend some military te technology. Not really. We can spend it on the fly if we need to. It's worth just building up for more military organization. Military organization super powerful. Uh, mastermind theologian. Sassarus is a mastermind theologian now. Well, maybe you'll bring our family decadence down. Actually, I think only the males will actually change decadence, which is a shame. Look at all that money, I know, right? Alright, castle walls built and mosque walls. So, because we have that castle infrastructure upgrade now, and we have level 2 walls, we can start moving into better stuff! We can actually move into training grounds now if we want to. It's morale up, which is always nice having a high morale army. Levy reinforcement rate, which means that our, we get up to our maximum levies faster, which is nice-ish. Not the biggest thing in the world right now. And retinue size, which is always nice for having a proper standing high-trained army. Which is never a bad idea. At the same time, I'm kind of feeling having good numbers right now. So, barracks and militia training ground are a little bit appealing. Heavy infantry are always nice, pikemen are always nice. I think I'm gonna get that going in the capital. We're gonna get, uh, we have plenty of money, 665. Let's get some militia training ground going there, because we do want more archers. And here at the Mosque of Mecca, they can't do their next barracks yet, because we don't have church infrastructure too. Um, Mosque Town, their Mosque Town can be upgraded, absolutely, because that'll get us more money for more upgrades. Awesome. Death Rider finally made it to a CK2 stream. Hope you have fun. Whatever that was went away. By the way, some people recommended some UI um, user interface resizing mods. Fabricate on the Sheikdom. Are you kidding me, dude? You are always... The Grand Vizier is constantly getting us claims on the Sheikdom, but not the Emirate. So we're just letting it go. Um... Faith triumphs, bickering fools, fools does not. Oh, Zoroastrianist faith dwindled to the point that another is taken over. Yeah, Zoroastrianism is mostly up here, because this would be like Persia. Yeah, they're, they got basically no moral authority, so they're going to have a lot of heresy. It happens. Um, yeah, bickering of old fools does not uh, interest me. And we're, oh shit, we lost our marshal. That's a shame. We had a decent one. Now, Muffins is actually not a bad marshal. He'd also likely be a loyalist. Not that I really need need a loyalist. He is my heir, isn't he? Yeah, he's my heir. I mean, that's the ultimate prestige stacking right there, isn't it? Designated Regent Cupbearer Commander and Marshal? That's pretty good. Uh, but can we grab somebody who's immediately better? We can get someone who's a little better. I th you know what? We might die soon. I'm gonna take the prestige stacking and make Muffins 
my marshal. And do we solve the high tax issue here? No, just the Chinese embargo. Okay, that's fine. Um, then we will train troops to get our levy size up because we're, you know, we really want to make sure no one's invading us right now now that we're independent. What I was going to say before, though, is um, what I was going to say before is some people recommended a UI scaling mod, uh, but people just keep linking me the crap one. Again, it's got to be one that looks good on 1440p. So if the one you're looking at is the one where on 1440p you can't see the game map at all, then not that one. Are you fucking kidding me? The Sheikdom again. Letting it go. Massive recruit and driving mecha, nice. There was another one apparently, but people couldn't get it to work on their website. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that. Who knows? Death Rider's gonna search for a mod? Thanks. Just please don't link me the same one that everyone's linked me. If the first screenshot's like 1440p before and after, and on the after you can't see the map at all because it's just menus, like literally one menu, just this menu being open took up from here to the bottom of the screen. If it's that one, I don't think we should do that one. You're gonna need to, need to be able to see the map at some point. Uh, right, who can I re righteously imprison and why? You are massively decadent, that might be why. He owns titles. Yeah. He's actually kind of powerful. Lack of funds. And it's in love paranoid, shrewd. Um. Do I really care? I'm not sure I do. I think I can just imprison him because uh, he's. He's decadent, but he doesn't have any money for me to take. I could, could issue a fatwa against him. Make it easier to revoke titles and grant them to someone more deserving. Tempting. Very tempting. I could do that. Hmm... Oh, you know what? You're right. Thanks for that uh, pro tip there. David Corporeal noticed that uh, the owner of this place moved their ho their main county. I think it's up to that one. Yeah, this is their main one now. They moved the capital of their emirate. Thanks for pointing that out. No wonder I was getting that so much. I wonder how long ago they moved that. Because I'm fairly sure it was right here last I checked. Okay, well, we're, we're going for the right place now. Let's hope for the best on that. Thanks for letting me know. Um, you know what? I don't really care about imprisoning him. If he was rich, I'd consider it just to, um, if he was rich, I'd consider it just so that I could, uh, banish him and get his money. But he's in debt. Dave Corporeal confirms it was only recently. Okay. I'm happy because I'd be yelled at so much if it was like that for like 20 straight minutes. A daughter was born to Taco Man. <laughs> Dogoman bint yo Avner, and uh, not even gonna try. Oh, it's a bastard daughter, though. It's an acknowledged bastard. Who is the. Oh, with my court imam? Well, we actually know who the father is. Dogoman, have you been sleeping around with the court imam again? Na 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 na. Oh, you. Waka waka. Wow, why do people watch this? Thanks for subscribing, Soulbreaker. I, I appreciate that. I hope you have fun with your shitty new emote. Uh, was it? My court uh, physician suggested that I buy him some books on anatomy and herbalism. Um, this is a small amount of gold based on my yearly income, I believe. And it's got like a 50-50 shot on if it pays off or not. It's such a small gold investment that I think it's perfectly fine to go for. I mean, if it means I might live longer, that's nice. What's this? Wife's recent visit. Oh, this is the event where you can get a non-aggression pact with some random person. The King of Abyssinia. Really? I very rarely get this event with someone who's actually near me. I don't know if I want a non-aggression with the King of Abyssinia. I kind of want to conquer them at some point. So... If you're not familiar, um, Abyssinia here is like modern day Ethiopia, and they've also got Yemen right here, or at least a decent chunk of Yemen. Now, unlike modern day Yemen, in which you would never want to go there unless you're completely insane, um, this little southern western tip of Yemen is actually very rich, 
at this point in history due to the Silk Road, a lot of wealth flows through right here, and I want that land. Uh, this land is pretty good. Um, interesting that he moved his capital here. By default, I believe it's up here, but here, this isn't this Jewish land? My Ephizite. Did they move? Okay, this land here is normally Jewish, but uh, it looks like they've already made it my Ephizite. They conquered the little Jewish kingdom very quickly. They're the only um, Jewish landowners at the earliest start date of the game. He's right here. And later in the game, there's a very short-lived Jewish tribe in one of the... Um, one of the step hordes, but they don't last long either. You pr if you want a Jewish empire or a Jewish kingdom, you pretty much gotta make it. All right, um, he wants non-aggression. I don't think I want non-aggression with him. He's weaker than me. Yeah, sorry, I respectfully disagree. It would be nice having an alliance with him just to muscle my way against some neighbors, but honestly, I don't think I need his help. And it's entirely likely that the Abyssinian Empire, or Kingdom rather, are going to be some of my next targets. Um, now, they're going to have Nubia on their side, aren't they, my Ephizite? Yeah, they're my Ephizite as well, so if I were to Holy War, they'd join in and these guys would join in, although these guys are pretty lame, and they're also a tribe. Um, yeah... I don't think I'm quite ready to war with them yet, but I'm not very far off. <sighs> Dave of Portal says, as a Jew, I like having Jewish land. <laughs> Something about that is funny to me, and I'm not entirely sure why. I don't know. So just the idea of throwing a bar mitzvah for your land, that's funny to me. Core physician has reluctantly let me know that the new books I bought him were ancient and contain nothing of value. Well, uh, yeah, that just means it was a waste of 35 uh, ducats, which is really not that bad. That's not very bad at all. In fact, uh, one of our buildings is almost done there. This is probably the militia training ground. I think those build faster. We found an apostate. Who are you? A commander. You're not one of my commanders, are you? Uh, you are one of my commanders. You're my siege leader. I don't want to. I don't want to kill you. He's useful to me. The way you said it made me laugh as well as David Corporeal. Oh, happy made you laugh. Uh, let him go free. What harm could it do? Now this will piss off my imam, won't it? Yeah, my imam will be outraged. Do I care about my imam that much? Not really. Oh, he's my physician. I don't want to outrage him. Um, thinking branding iron. Yeah, branding iron. Sorry, dude. You got branded. Branded apostate, which means your piety's down and everybody in the world thinks less of you. And you're decadent. It sucks, but I let you live and you still have your job. Like, it's either that or the dungeon, or I piss off my medic, or I kill you. So, I feel like you go off pretty light on that one. I don't make the rules. Now, I could jail him if I want, now that he's a branded apostate. But, again, he's not wealthy enough to be worth it, and he's my siege leader. Siege leaders, you really want a couple of them. There we go. Militia training ground done. Let's go ahead and get this. Uh, life good water, near hear the gods. Something funny happened today, everybody. Well, we get ready to run the clock, at least. Um, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have some camels, would it? Um, I feel like the barracks might be a higher priority to me right now.